Hey everybody, my name is Kenny Johnson. I'm the Senior Director of Product Management uh, for GitLab covering the ops section. That's the verify, package, release, configure, and monitor stages. I'm actually here subbing in for Tao Jaeger, our awesome uh, PM covering the CI group in the verify stage. I'm gonna be performing the uh, kickoff video uh, in her stead while she's out on PTO. So I'm gonna share my screen. I will just start with the fact that uh, I'll add links to the specific issues and the planning issue I'm about to show uh, in the description of this video. But obviously I am not an expert like Tao is, so uh, please bear with me in uh, uh, my overview. Okay, so this is the planning issue for the CI group. Uh, the top five direction issues are linked here. Um, I'm gonna go through them one by one, uh, not necessarily in this order. I'll start first with filters for pipelines. So if you've ever interacted with GitLab pipelines, I'll just show you uh, live what it looks like for the GitLab project. Uh, this list is large, not filtered, starts with all. Um, it's difficult to navigate, especially in projects with lots of different pipelines. So what we're planning on adding in 13.0 is the ability to filter uh, those pipeline views. So there's some great mockups here of what that would look like with a kind of standard GitLab filter bar. Um, the thing that I want to highlight is that our top two priorities for this filter in this release, things that we're going to uh, make sure we get in in the first iteration, are uh, trigger, author, and branch name. Those are the most popular and highest priority. Um, you can see some examples of um, the status, trigger, author, view, trigger source, and then a general search where you would use something like the branch name to um, to filter your pipelines. So that is the first issue I wanted to review in 13.0. As a view of the pipelines. The second one uh, for the CI group in 13.0 is keeping the latest artifact for each job. So um, if you've used GitLab CI YAML, you know that you can specify uh, the artifact retention policy in your YAML file. This expires in a uh, um, keyword. The issue with that is that for projects that are uh, that have tons of uh, frequent builds or frequent jobs, that expire expiration date uh, might keep the last 30. Uh, but for ones with less frequency, it might not even keep the latest one. And if your desire is not necessarily to have an expiration date for those artifacts, but actually to, to ensure that you're keeping the last one, it's difficult to do without um, having to know the kind of frequency of your build uh, while still keeping your storage costs down. So this uh, feature will allow users to specify uh, to keep the latest artifact in their CI YAML file and only that latest artifact, thus keeping their, um, their uh, storage costs down. Uh, the next one is about inheriting environment variables from dependent jobs. So uh, as the issue describes, today you can um, store uh, various content artifacts in content in artifacts and then pass them between jobs, but that can be pretty heavy handed if really all you want is a, is a kind of like single variable. The example here being the, the build version that you're creating in the build stage, you wanna make sure that that is referenced in the, um, in the deploy stage. So we'll be adding the support for um, passing them between, uh, passing them with this .env keyword between uh, stages in GitLab. Uh, the next issue for 13.0 for the, the CI group is excluding paths. So when you create um, a cache or an artifact, uh, you typically define paths that you want to create that artifact from, um, but you can't, uh, you can't use an accept or you can't do a not, uh, I want everything in build, but not this other folder for in this example right here. Um, and so we'll be adding the ability to do just that um, by not having this, it causes a causes users pain of having to list every single specific folder within that folder that they do want, as opposed to the converse. And in, in cases of build folders, that can be quite large and quite onerous as the folders change. So this allows this would allow users to um, to kind of easily exclude specific paths that they know they don't want to uh, include in artifacts. Uh, there's a good example here below that I was noticing of kind of having a not operator in the path, something like that. Um, and then the last issue, uh, direction issue for the, the CI group in 13.0 is uh, adding global CI variables, global instance level variables for your CI um, jobs. So today you can define these variables at the project and group level. We want to, to enable you to have uh, CI variables at the instance level. 
So as you define um, these, in, these variables for your CI builds, there are uh, lots of use cases for having kind of global credentials. Uh, the primary example being your like uh, deployment, uh, wholesale deployment or Docker registry keys that you want to um, utilize across all CI pipelines, but protect um, and not have to copy them across uh, all groups or projects. So I'll stop sharing. Those are the top five direction items for the CI group for the 13.0 release. As I said, I uh, look forward to Tao being back for the 13.1 kickoff. And thank you. Take care.